LRBAquatics.com. Hello world, how's it going? Hope you guys are all doing great. So today I'm gonna share with you my fish haul that I brought back from the Tropical Magic Michigan Aquarium Society fish auction. And I was not planning on getting pretty much most of these fish, but they had a lot of variety and it was hard to kind of pass up some of these fish. And I decided they made good additions to the fish room and I got a ton of them. So we're gonna go through it. I'm gonna share with you guys. And uh, maybe you guys will see some fish that you've never seen before. It's really good time. So a big shout out to Michiana Aquarium Society. And also a huge shout out to Big Chucky and Little Chucky. He owns like half these fish. Very cool, generous people down to earth. Very cool dudes. And uh, yeah, big shout out to you guys. So let's do this. So I've got the big styro just full, packed full. Had to cover it up because it's busting out of the top. And I figured we'd do it in the laundry room because it has the best light. So let's get it started. Got some jungle val, all this for 14 bucks. Huge pieces of jungle val. I think Dustin's fish tanks would be proud of me because that's like plant he wants to be buried with i'm not sure where i'm gonna put that but that'll be good any more quarries i don't know you'll have to find out tiger valis scenario i've never tried it thought it'd be cool and there's a freaking ton of it for eight bucks john horning.com great deal and it all looked this is all looks like it's grown underwater too anubius nana these were actually from the swap. Those were the only three items I got from the swap. And it's kind of hard for me to read all the chat here as it goes by, so I will probably be missing questions just to let you know. Because there's a lot to go through here. So here we got a discus. So I did get myself a discus. This is a red turquoise. Very nice, very nice. So I'm super excited about that. Super excited, looking healthy, very lively. Oh yeah, he's moving around. Very good. These guys I definitely wasn't even playing on getting, but man, they're absolutely beautiful. Red well, uh, red wag platties. I got them for two bucks. All these for two bucks. I was like, screw it. I may actually put these in my main rainbow community tank and just have them eat algae. They're great algae eaters. And two bucks coloration looks great and let's see here we've got the oh these guys are really cool i definitely was not planning on getting these these are gold barbs now they had a bigger pair and i just about bought them and uh yeah, I didn't buy the bigger pair, and then saw these. I was like, screw it, I gotta get them. I think they'll make a good addition to the mascara barb tank. And big shout out to all you guys who super chat me too. So Jeff the Ostrich, thank you for the $2 super chat. Have you thought about doing rabbit snails? Yes, I have some rabbit snails, and I do plan on getting more of them as well. And these are some, what were these called? Okay, so these are IFGA Half Black Leopard Show Guppies. These were really cool. This guy had a bunch of really nice guppies. I don't get into the mosaic pattern. That ain't quite the mosaic pattern. It's a leopard, so it looks like a Dalmatian tail. And the females even have that Dalmatian tail, which was very cool, very cool. And, uh... Also, what I was getting ready to say is all you guys that super chatted me, especially on Friday night, to say to the fish fund, well, here you go. This is what the fish fund does here. It allows me the ability to go stupid on some fish at the fish auction, even if I don't need them. But, I mean, how can you pass these up? These are, like, beautiful specimens. All these specimens are, like, top-notch. And you can go around and look at the specimens before you buy them. Most auctions let you do that. And these are long fin danios. So I did get to see them before. And then I also volunteered as a runner. When I go to these auctions, I love to volunteer as a runner because 
And what I mean by that is somebody who runs the bags back and forth as they're auctioning to the people who buy them. But when you do volunteer to be the runner, you get to see like everything that goes through. And uh, that's a real perk for uh, doing the running. So I actually was not planning on getting those, but I saw them. They, uh, I think they, I paid like 10 bucks for them. And uh, yeah, I didn't see them before. So if I wasn't a runner, I probably would have missed them. And then these are white cross endlers. These are really cool looking. They seem to breed pretty true from what's in the bag. So we'll see about that. Decent uh, colony there. All right. So there's a lot of, a lot of different fish that I was not planning on getting. But it'll up up the variety. And I figure a lot of these will, some of these maybe in the 240, I don't know. These are definitely probably going in the 240. Check these babies out. Look at that. I guess there's six of them total. I can't see in the other bags, but I can at least see these two. And yes, yes. Talk about a nice 240 edition right there. They'll still, all these still have to go through quarantine. So you probably won't see them in the tanks until a month from now. But eventually, eventually we'll get there. Oh no. I was worried about this. I got, actually got this clown loach for free. We thought it was on its way out. He was kind of breathing. Sometimes they'll play dead. So we wasn't sure. It's like, screw it, I'll go ahead and take him. But looks like he wasn't playing around. I guess the guy said he put oxygen in there and it has an ammonia cube in there. So hard telling, unfortunate. Hard telling. Probably just couldn't handle the stress. But he was on his way out before. I was just hoping I'd be able to save him. But no, yep, RIP, it happens. But on to happier notes, blue face discus, check this guy out. Very beauty, beautiful and healthy specimen. So that'll be nice. Very nice, ooh, you can kind of see that sheen or in this, that the bag, oh yeah, you can see the fin there. Nice, nice. And there's a brown discus too I wanted, but I should have bought them. There's a couple things I should have bought, but I didn't. I wasn't sure how much I already spent, so I was kind of holding back. I spent like maybe around 300 bucks for everything. Size Big Chucky, he owns at like half of these because he's just so awesome and generous. So another big shout out to him. But these are uh, full red or what are these? Yeah, red albino guppies. Another IFGA, very beautiful specimen. And then we got some more, still got some more. I don't even remember all of what I bought to be honest. Uh, another discus, so I did get another discus. I wasn't sure if I bought two or three of them. That's probably why I didn't get the brown discus. So this is another red turquoise discus. Pretty cool, pretty cool. And here we got more. These are albino super red delta guppies. I might have to, uh, what's the difference? I'm not really sure. But either way, they're nice. I think I got those before I got that trio too. I had my eyes on this trio. I thought it already went through. So what's the difference on these? I don't know, but these guys, boy. Very nice, very nice. And then we got some peacock gungeons. I definitely was not planning on getting these either. Little baby ones, they're going for cheap. I was like, screw it. I've already bred them before, but I figured I could uh, use them in my breeding program at my club to get points and breed them again. Definitely got some time on them since they are uh, pretty small. I got a good deal on them. And then we got more of the uh, red albino show guppies i went ahead and bought two of them that way i can deepen the gene pool i would have got the leopard ones but they uh the, man they were trying to jack the price up on me like crazy because often other people want them too and often price is not the uh 
question with some things and it gets crazy sometimes but sometimes you get things real cheap too these are a gold laser quarry cats excited about those so i did get some quarry cats i almost said i didn't get some quarry cats because i honestly don't remember getting those but i know i wanted them but awesome awesome and uh what else we got here oh that's something i took to the show and then we got the uh black hyphen ham oh crap a bag just fell down we got the black hyphen black berlin swords hamburg swords i've already got some of those but i figure i'll add them into the 240. oh man i just totally landed this in the trash good thing it hit the trash though and not the concrete shoo i'm running out of space here i got too many fish i'm gonna have to start putting them on the shelf loaded but i definitely created a lot of work for myself so this is what i'm gonna be doing all night and i gotta make room in qts too and i think this is the last bag this is the last bag yes okay 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 and it is some sword tails we've got the uh, red sword tails nice coloration on them i figure i'll throw these out in a the pond i think they'll look pretty cool out there be like a little goldfish out there that eats my algae and uh maybe breeds so there you go there's all the fish a bunch of different variety a bunch of stuff i was not expecting you know i can't come home without buying some guppies because there's always some cool guppy at some different club and you know even if it takes like three hours to drive to one of these the amount of money you save on the fish that you buy especially if you got multiple aquariums it could definitely be worth it for sure because a lot of these i got for a really good price and the quality that you get is absolutely amazing like all these specimens they're like you won't find specimens like this at the fish store often unless somebody brings them in so always a good deal and if you guys ever get a chance to do something like that i recommend it yolo you only live once right so well i hope you guys enjoyed this video and this haul and uh yeah maybe you learned something maybe you saw some new species and whatnot so till next time everybody peace and have a good one see you tomorrow oh and if you didn't see the video i did yesterday please check that out um it gives you a good idea on like how an all fish show goes and it's a really cool thing to do and how people judge fish and just different ways you could do it and all kinds of knowledge about what happened this last weekend so check that out and i will see you guys later like subscribe all that stuff so